I'm willing to go in bad weather conditions to hills, but sometimes it's really bad. Like a couple some uh, last winter, it was like minus 14. So my parents said, you're taking the bus, you're not cycling. To get into school for nine, I have to be at the bus stop for 7.50 in Sawston. Whereas with a cycle, it's only about 30 minutes. If there was a guided busway, I definitely would take it because it's just so much easier. Get on the bus and just going down the busway, no traffic at all. If I want to, if I'm running late, I can go, yeah, running late, push myself a bit harder down here or try and make it, you know, take the quickest route possible. Whereas on the bus, I'm at the mercy of the gods. I work at the leisure centre and um, cycling home at night, it's, it's a lot quieter, there's no cars. I, I finish at midnight some nights and I'm, you know, getting my bike out and going, going home. And I'm not even, not even out of Cambridge at midnight, so it is quite late when I'm going home. I think the last train is at 11.26 and the last bus is at 11 on the dot. But widening the DNA path would probably be a wise choice because there's sometimes quite high flow traffic down there. And there's a few bits where the tree branches have gone underneath and they've started to swell and they've, you know, ruptured the concrete. If that would be re-leveled and widened, it would be a good, good, good option. But it's just going down a field on a train track. There's not many, you know, other light sources. It's just pitch black down there. So lighting would be a good choice. As part of the Greater Cambridge Greenways, we will create new paths and upgrade existing ones, including making the DNA path wider and adding lighting so it's safer and more comfortable. Mm -hmm.